The kidnap and murder of a five-year-old girl by her own school teacher is a story that makes you worry and very careful in what you do as a parent. This story shows that not all teachers are what they appear to be and this particular one is really weird, but very understandable. When there's greed, there's no limit, and when there's no limit, a state of anarchy is activated only that this time it's with a person's moral mind and this can make the person do evil things. Hanifa Abubakar, a five-year-old girl, was kidnapped from her primary school at Dakra, in Kano State. Should we say it's a kidnap gone wrong? Aside the evil nature of the kidnapper who was her teacher, it shows the teacher wasn't really smart. Or perhaps wise in the wrong aspect of life. Here, the details get a bit blurry because some sources say it's the teacher while others say it's the proprietor. But either the proprietor or teacher, they are both teachers and only differ in rank. Personally, I would prefer to believe that it was the proprietor because he would have been the one who has access to all the other kids in the school. The one who knows the best child to kidnap and get six million from. The same one who has access to the school at odd hours to bury a murdered kid. So, the proprietor it is. This evil man whose name was Abdul Malik Tanko. This is not on any way justifying an event act or in any way to shame teachers, however, it is a known thing that teachers are underappreciated and overused and if this was not the case, maybe, just maybe this wouldn't have happened. Yet some people with no matter how much they get never feel contented. They are greedy and the feeling knows no boundary and it is obvious the proprietor of the school, Noble Kids Comprehensive School, where the little girl was killed is one of such people. Mr. and Mrs. Abubakar were not so rich to the extent that they could afford to throw six million away. They still, however, struggled to bargain. The plot of this story is however very simple and easy thereby making the evilness of the act more obvious. Hanifa Abubakar, like every other little child woke up and being five years old, had her parents take care of her and prepare her for school and then, she going to school. She must have been a very smart girl and her school may have not been far from the house because it is only on these two conditions that a five-year-old would perhaps go and come back from school herself. Or maybe she was dropped at the school and would come home herself in the midst of friends, whatever the case was, her parents were okay leaving her to get home safe, and perhaps she deserved it. The very beautiful young girl full of laughter and life got to school, did the assembly like everyone else and perhaps the proprietor, the same Abdul Malik Tanko who butchered her came to the assembly to talk and give advice and cited her once more. Then the activity of the day commenced. After the close of the day, just as every other day before, little Hanifa was on her way home when she was abducted by a man she had never seen before. The news of her missing spread like wildfire and on no time, her parents were devastated. The principal of the school upon hearing this news was also thrown in fear and sympathy for the parents and decided to go pay them a visit, a visit in which he shed tears and joined on the search of looking for Hanifa Abubakar. After a while of futile search the child was not found and then, a call came in from the kidnappers. It was at this moment that a ransom was requested. Just imagine the relief and terror this parent would have felt, joy that their child is alive and fear that their child isn't really safe and then fear and anger about the process it would take to free their child, 6 million naira. The parents tried to bargain with the kidnappers, they begged but apparently, it seemed that either the kidnappers agreed or he told them to pay instrumentally. Whereas the culprits took the little girl to his house and on seeing that the girl recognized him, he handed her over to his wife who refused to take the child and seeing that his face was revealed already, he decided to kill her. With rat poison. Buying a rat poison worth 100 naira, he poisoned her. Some sources say it was the wife who poisoned Hanifa, while most say it is the husband, but it was recorded that he confessed to poisoning her. So because the girl recognized him as her teacher and proprietor, he poisoned her to death and butchered her. 
then took her to the school, made a shallow grave and buried her there. He wasn't feeling guilty because the thought of collecting millions of naira was what kept him going. His plan to collect the ransom was still in place and it was when he was about collecting part payment that the police of Kono State nabbed him. During interrogation, he confessed to conniving with one Hoshim Isayaku to kidnap the girl on her way home from school so that his alibi can be strong probably, so the girl got kidnapped and was brought to his house. The real trouble started when she recognized him and so he poisoned her tea and murdered her before going ahead to butcher her. The uncle of Hanifa said that it was when his wife refused the girl that he brought her to the school and to kill and bury her. When he was caught, imagine the shock the parents faced when at the police station, they met with their child's kidnappers only to find out that he was Abdul Malik Tanko, their daughter's proprietor and teacher. What a world! It was an emotional scene as the mother of Hanifa rushed towards his with slaps and punches hitting and kicking and crying until finally, the police were able to drag the culprit away from her. The father, crying says death befalls everyone and he is just glad that he can have closure but he would never forget what happened to his daughter and he would take it with him to his grave.